I remember my friends and I going through this process and thinking very much along those lines that admissions was a roll of the dice. It was uh, unpredictable to the point of absurdity. You know, it was very arbitrary. And I, I've come to realize <laughs> by virtue of years of training and years of reviewing files that in fact there is a method to the madness, the seeming madness. Uh, and my colleagues and I, not only at Johns Hopkins, but at other institutions around the country, uh, we do have a rough sketch or perhaps even a more specific idea of what it is uh, that we believe to be the best fit for our particular institution. And I think that sometimes when you do have that notion of small communities, not unlike Campbell Hall, where you have families that have known each other for years and years, and you have uh, such a spectacular sense of what's happening um, for all of, of your friends and, and your friends' friends, uh, that it feels it you know it feels very closely knit and very personal, and that's a, a huge benefit. But I think part of that that idea wherein students and families will take a look on April 2 after admission letters have been sent out and emails have been received and decisions have been brought to bear that there is some bizarre uh, patterning at work. You know, there, there's no logic to what just happened when one takes a look at Bobby and one takes a look at Susie and one clearly knows that Susie is the one who contributes so significantly to the Campbell Hall community or wherever you might be. Um, and Bobby is the one who was offered admission to X, Y, or Z institution. There's this real sense of, of confusion, of disorder. And how could this possibly have happened? And how is this process so misunderstood? That notion of what an institution believes itself to be and what it wants to become as a result of its student body, that is going to motivate these sorts of decisions. And again, there is absolutely a process. Uh, my colleagues and I spend months and months reviewing thousands of files and it is you know, deeply analytical and very serious uh, and at least on the part of Johns Hopkins, you know, almost solitary work. Of course there's a lot of conversation, a lot of dialoguing, a lot of uh, sort of collegial you know, back and forth, but at the end of the day it's this uh, you know, deep and abiding sense of what you believe the institution to be, what you've taught, um, been taught that it is, and, and how to find the best particular student to represent that idea. And that's how those sorts of decisions can, can sort of play out. And that's why surprising things can sometimes happen. And I remember that going through uh, my own process. But at the end of the day, having learned what I've learned, um, having watched so many colleagues year after year do what we do, there is a system and it is, um, it's something that is, is logical and uh, is, it does make sense to us 